Hello! Today I am here to talk about the rigging I have done for my character in ZBrush. It took a lot of iterations because I also changed a lot of things throughout it. And when I was already done rigging, I realized, oh, I probably should use the cutoff head version to help the rig actually work better. And that's what I had to go back and do, cut off the head, and just replace the mesh that's being used for it. Uh, if we start going through the mesh in general, we can see a lot of weird bones all over the place. Some of them make sense. Some of them are obvious. Like you would have all these normal bones kind of just coming through to the hand and boom, it's all fairly normal. It's all fairly functional. Then you get some weird ones like these ones on the side and these ones on the back. These ones on the side are so deformation isn't like a giant factor when these arms come down. Because it was really squishing down because this character is just huge. They're very muscular, so they needed a lot of balancing out to help make sure they don't deform as much. And then these ones on the back are because they have hair now, and the braid itself is rigged. So we don't want the entire body, when the hair starts moving, to just, you know, start following with it in a weird way. But the hair itself can, boom, move very nicely and very easily. Face has a lot of things going on, though this rig is not very functional for the most part. You can get some basic ones in for sure. Just your general head movement. You probably have to move the jaw then afterwards, but they're already going to be in an angry expression as I made an entirely new face for the character for this version. Their belt has a lot of rigging in it as well. The belt's already kind of posed to begin with, but you can pose it further. I suppose you need to be even more careful than I thought. Yeah, but you can pose it a little bit more if you'd like. As long as you're careful with it. And these ones, these uh, side armors have a lot of extra bones just so they aren't being deformed by the leg when the leg decides to move. So if the leg ever just starts rotating mirroring is still on let me turn that off we'll activate symmetry same thing but yeah all those extra bones are there just so you don't run into an issue of when these legs move it deforms the metal pieces or at least not as much as it used to and it doesn't seem like it's actually deforming it at all so big old bonus that one causes a bit of deformation, but as long as you're careful with it, you'll be fine. Same situation here. Once you go a bit more extreme, it starts deforming the metal, but once again, just be careful. This one's where it's really wonky just because the uh, soles of the shoes are not really supposed to bend too much. But if you're just barely moving it a little bit, like an appropriate amount of movement, then you'll be fine. So just rig it and move the character like an old person, and we're all good. You also have some extra ones now just because that one's there. So you can technically do some slightly more dynamic back movements, I suppose, if you would like to. You just grab this bone and be like, come back, lean at your midsection. Boom, bop. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. It's hard to make him lean back. I suppose you'd actually have to have this angle, wouldn't you? The rotation tool to make the rig works is very unfamiliar to me. So yeah, do some stuff like that. Make him bend even more. Just, ooh, big stretch. The important thing is it's all fully functional. Just wanted to unbind it and rebind it real quick. But yeah. This is the character, a lot of extra bones going on, so it can go into the braid, go into the belt, go into the, the hip armor to keep them in place, and I even had to reiterate a couple times just to make sure that A, I got a face I wanted, and B, the face is actually separate piece, so you're not trying to mesh and move the body inside the armor as well as the armor, so this is just better because he is fully clothed from the neck down. Oh, that reminds me. There's also some additional ones on the inside here because this collar piece was otherwise being deformed when the arms went down too, and that issue has now been solved. So this is where the character is at for now, 
And by the time they get to the final presentations, they will be fully rigged into a punching position, hence why I gave it the angry face, just to give it a little bit more oomph. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.